This is Chills. <laughs> Chills was born in early 2016 with deformed front legs at a puppy mill in Galveston. She's only two pounds and two ounces. Against all odds, she survived her ordeal and is now a happy puppy thanks to one local organization. <laughs> Tammy Parker and her husband Miro are heroes helping put rescue chihuahuas in good homes. <coughs> Parker is the director of Texas Chihuahua Rescue, an organization that actively rehouses and rehabilitates displaced chihuahuas from events like Hurricane Harvey, illegal puppy mills, or older chihuahuas that need loving homes. Many people don't realize that chihuahuas are actually the second most euthanized breed in America. A lot of them come with medical issues or behavioral issues, but our fosters are so wonderful and they really work with them and get them ready for their new families. Parker and her husband have worked to find forever homes for their rescues by guiding new families with these adoption tips. Tip one is to dog proof your home. You definitely have to make sure that all small objects are off the floor, anything that they can eat, pick up kids' toys, you know, make sure that all of your chemicals and everything are up where they can't reach them. And keep them in a safe place. They don't need full run of the entire house the first day they come home. Tip two is making sure not to spoil your new friend. And you can give things to your dogs like green beans or carrots. Um, but you want to keep it at a minimum, especially when they first come home. You don't know what they were eating in the shelter, what they were eating before. Tip three is to have patience. Um, so they definitely need some decompression time. And again, it goes back to letting them have a small space in your house first and then opening up. Let the dog come to you. Let them come out of their safe space when they're ready and give them time and they'll warm up. Tip four is to monitor your doggy's potty habits. It might take a couple weeks for them to get on your schedule um, and make sure that you're taking them out first thing in the morning and several times a day, and as soon as you get home from work and right before you go to bed. And tip five is to be stern and not give in. Some habits that they've had their whole life, that might take a little longer to, to get them on a new routine and, um, and, and with a new family with these new established rules, but you really have to stay persistent and keep working on it. The work the organization does helps families heal after losing a furry friend and gives these pups a second chance at life. We're based here out of San Antonio, Texas, but we adopt dogs all over Texas. We also adopt dogs up in the Northeast and in Canada. During the filming of this story, an owner of a Chihuahua adopted from the organization stumbled upon the dog park that we were filming at and reunited Tammy with Gwen. An older female Chihuahua who lived with her for two months before she found her forever home. I fostered Gwen for about two and a half, three months before we found her a home. Well, you know, we had just lost a Chihuahua, so um, it was great to get little Gwenny over here, like, you know, part of the pack again. It's better to go through an organization like this than to, you know, to go, go through something like Craigslist or um, you don't know if people are breeding the dogs or if they've stolen the dogs or, you know, where they've come from. If you're interested in adopting one of these chihuahuas, this is Nitro and this is El Rey, and they're looking for their forever homes. To get more information on the Texas Chihuahua Rescue Organization, you can head to our website, salive.com, and click on the link provided. Tammy, thank you so much for bringing them out here. Thank you so much. They had a great time. It's a beautiful morning. Oh my goodness, look at this little guy. Look, he's so cute. For SA Live, <laughs> I'm David Elder. Oh!